Can this much smaller four inch caulking gun actually replace the traditional much larger gun? Well, I'm Shannon from houseimprovements.com and we're gonna discuss this right now. So I quite often get companies who wanna send uh, out some kind of product for us to give a try or give a review or whatever. And I kind of tell everybody the same thing. They can send us whatever they want um, until I try something actually for a while and get a feel for it. I can't give them an honest review. And uh, you know, that's just kind of our policy. Send it out to us, let me try it, and then we'll see if it even makes a video. If I really hate it, you're never gonna see it on my channel. But uh, things that have some merit, uh, once I've tried them out, um, I think they're, they're worth talking about. And, and this is one of those products. So this gun, uh, they, they haven't sponsored us, they aren't paying us. They did send us the gun, uh, but uh, they aren't sponsoring us in any other way. I'm giving my honest opinion here. So this, this gun is made by Silligun. So it's probably one of the first redesigns of a caulking gun, really drastic redesigns anyways, that I can think of in 100 years, honestly. Uh, you know, traditionally, these guns here that you see, this is, this is pretty typical what you're going to see on most job sites or most homeowners' house hanging up somewhere. Uh, they really haven't changed much in, in a lot of years. So I, it piqued my interest when these guys sent this out. I'd never seen it. Uh, you know, they sent me an email, so then I looked online just to see kind of what it was about. And, and a few days later, gun showed up in the mail. So... So I've been trying it out now for, I don't know, over the last probably two, three months. Um, it, there's some pros and cons to it for sure. Uh, you know, I, I don't know that this gun, for me as a professional, can replace these. Uh, there's definitely a place for this gun because of its compact design. Uh, you know, it, it really works well in tight spaces and it, it definitely has a purpose. Uh, it doesn't in my line of work, replace a gun like this. Um, one of those reasons, let, let's start out with the pros, okay? Obviously the compact design, okay? Really easy. Uh, when we get to this, the end of this, I'll show you how this actually works, but. Uh, so I like the compact design. I like the fact that it's got a couple different options for hanging it, although I'm not real sure that this one over time is gonna stand up. Um, I think even if you drop this a couple times, I bet you that's the first thing that breaks off. But, you know, the little strap, you don't really see that on too many guns. Some of them do have it, but uh, anyways, that's one of the pros. Uh, they do have a, a little tool built into the handle here for puncturing. Uh, you know, some of your silicones have a foil seal inside you've got to puncture. Um, the one thing I do find with it, it's a little cumbersome to get in and out. It's almost a little hard on the finger, honestly. To it's kind of like being careful around a mouse trap when you're using that part, but it works. Uh, you can see, honestly, it's pretty clean. I I tried to keep it clean just because of the way it goes in here. I didn't want to get the rest of the handle all gooped up, uh, but it does work. Okay, so those are kind of the. See, look, I'm having a little trouble getting that in there right now. Okay, got it in there. Uh, now the cons that I that I seen a lot of times when I'm running a bead of uh, caulk or silicone or whatever with a traditional tube, you know you've got a you've got a tube cut with a uh, with a with an end. Usually you cut it on a bit of a 45, gives you a nicer bead. So sometimes you need to manipulate that tube as you're changing directions, say around a window or something, and you just in this gun I can simply turn that tube. In this gun, because of the design, and I'll show you that in a minute, once you've started the tube in there, you can't rotate the tube. You've got to actually turn the gun. Okay, so that's one of the things I didn't like. Um, getting the tubes out sometimes is a little difficult. Um, you've got to kind of manipulate it to get it out. Uh, not, as, not as handy. Uh, there's a grip tape inside here. And already on mine, I'm getting a little bit of it's not nearly as grippy. It kind of fills up with the plastic off the tubes and stuff. And I think over time that will kind of get smooth and not grip the tube as much as it needs to do. Um, what are one of the other things I didn't like? Um, uh, it's a little harder to reuse the tubes because once what happens is when this tube goes in there, there's a little, there's a little blade in there and it splits the tubes. So they actually cut as they come through the gun. And 
this is what kind of happens. The tube gets all out of shape on the end and it's hard to get started the next time you go to use it. Uh, so that's one of the other things I didn't like. Um, the other thing I, I didn't like, and they, they admit this, uh, it's really meant for uh, like silicones and uh, pretty fluent caulking. Um, things like adhesives or most products that are in a paper tube, cardboard tube, it doesn't work as well. I don't. I just don't know what it is. You just. It's hard to get the product out of the tube. I found with it, and and they kind of admit that even on their own uh, literature. So, so those those are the things that. Uh, you know, I kind of found as cons. Are they deal breakers? Not any one of them is, but when you add them all up, for me, I don't think this could be my go-to gun. Um, one of the other things it didn't have is a is a tip cutter. Um, like on this one here, up here I can stick the end of a, of a new tube in here and it'll cut the tip open for me. Now I don't use that a lot because I, I tend to use a uh, uh, utility knife because I want just a nice angle on, but this doesn't even give me the option. You know, a lot of times on an adhesive, it doesn't really matter, you're not doing anything finicky. You just bust the end off and uh, away I go. Well with this gun you don't have that. So there's one other thing it doesn't have. Um, overall. I mean, you seem to have lots of power when you're ratcheting this thing. It works great on silicones and, and other caulkings, but like I said, the adhesives or something that's a little thicker, maybe even in cold weather, it, it just I just couldn't get it to work that well. So how this works, I'm just going to take a, a tube here. So this isn't a new tube. Actually, none of these are new tubes. So to start out with, to insert a tube, you've got to squeeze this little lever here which is kind of a clutch system and that'll allow you to get the tube started in to the gun Then you can let go of the clutch and then what you're doing I should better take the, the end off by the way these little ends I'm gonna put a link in the description They're they're great for uh, sealing up open tubes okay so I'll throw a link down below there you can look for after so once you've got your uh, your caulking or whatever silicone start into the gun now you're squeezing the handle and back in here if you can see there's a knife here in the middle kind of a serrated knife so as as the tube gets pulled into the gun that knife slits the tube okay so like I said this tube is uh, not not brand new so I'm just gonna squeeze it up to where I get some resistance right there so now it's gotten to where the cock the silicone is in the tube and here you can see the back end of that tube is split open now they've, they've got to do that right the old traditional ones there's this rod with a plunger on it actually here's a better look there's the rod with the plunger on it and when you squeeze the handle that plunger is going into the tube there's no reason to split the tube this one works the opposite way you're shoving that tube through the gun so they've got to split it okay uh, not not a big deal. It actually helps uh, the gun even get smaller once you get going, right? As the caulking gets down, you can cut the ends of the tubes off out the back here, and you have, you know, you can really get into some tight spots. But that's the basics of how the gun works. I mean, other than that, it's still doing the same thing. It's still pushing out uh, caulking here. So let's just let's just run a bead here and see. Now here here's an example. I've got that tube cut on this angle. I just grabbed it naturally like because that's what I always do and I was going to rotate it to be at the right angle. I can't now because I've already I've already got it in the gun. I mean I can pull it out and turn it and whatever but eh, it's kind of a pain. Anyways I'll make it work. So we're just going to lay down a bead here. I'll start right down in this corner. They call it a, a dripless design. I don't know. I don't know if you can really say it's dripless. It still wants to let a little bit out there when you're done. Uh, maybe not as bad as some guns. This this silicone might be a little. I might have a bit of a. Oh, there we go. Add a bit of a plug in there. I mean, yeah, it works. It's it lays a good bead. I I don't have a problem with the way it actually works as a gun. You know, it does it does what a person wants it to do. I just think there's a few drawbacks to it for the everyday guy 
that's not the everyday day guy, the everyday pro that's going to be using it a lot with a lot of different products. That's that's my only my only thing. Now to get this out, so we've got it in there. Now you want to change something else. You again squeeze that clutch lever and pull the tube. Well, that one came out really easy. Sometimes I don't know what it is. I just found they got kind of jimmied in there. So then what I would have to do is uh, this would be. See if I can get it started in there again. Okay, so sometimes, you know, you'd be pulling, it wouldn't, just wouldn't quite come out. So I was turning it upside down, give it a bang or squeezing it and popping it with my hand and then it seemed to free it up. I don't know, maybe there was just some pressure on it or maybe something got gummed up in there. I'm not too sure. Um, so there you have it, Silicon. Is it gonna replace the traditional gun? I don't think so. Is it handy? Yeah, absolutely. Am I going to carry this with me? I'm going to carry this in my trailer, absolutely. Uh, I, I do think it has its place. There's a lot of times I've been, you know, trying to silicone a back, backsplash in behind a faucet or whatever, tight quarters, and I really wished I didn't have all this sticking out in the way and I could have just had this, right? So uh, there's going to be places where I'm going to use this, absolutely. So. Just to finish things off, I don't think there's anything else I can really say. Um, you know, if I was going to give this uh, something out of 10, I'd probably give it a 7. Seems pretty robust other than this, this hook here. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, click the thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, go check out all our other videos. We have hundreds of videos to check out on all kinds of topics. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. If you've never subscribed to my channel, where have you been? Like, subscribe now. Okay? So subscribe, click the thumbs up, uh, look in the description. Um, most of our videos in the description, we're going to have some links, uh, like to this little doohickey for the caulking. Uh, where's the tube? Right? Very handy. I like those things. Those are in this video. Just go look down there. Uh, we'll throw a link to uh, caulking guns down there too. And we actually have a video on how to use a caulking gun. More traditional style, obviously, this, this type. We'll throw a link in down there. Go check that out too. Thanks a lot.